Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 27 and 28. It's been a while so I will need a refresher as I read and if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and let's go ahead and get started. <sighs> You know, coming back and reading this, this is surprised me. I was like, man, where did I left off? Okay. There's like blood everywhere. Uh, this is so gory. What happened? Oh, man. Purple Hyacinth did that? Who who did that? Well, you know, he didn't do it because of it splattered on him. Right? Wow. So he did do it? Are you okay? Let's get somewhere safe then. He truly never. And yet, just now he. I kill only when I'm ordered to, or if it's only the only solution. But next time things go to hell because of you, I'm letting you burn. Why? Purple Hyacinth, episode 27. <sighs> He's cut. Let me help you. No. I'm fine. You look stupid. I'll help you fix your bandages. <sighs> okay. It's done. Kieran. Actually, I... What? Kieran, about earlier, I... I just... Thank you. What? Thank you. I owe you my life. And since you owe me your life, does that mean I can take you on as my personal servant until you repay your debt? <laughs> nice try, subordinate. <laughs> Purple Hyacinth, episode 28. The last episode was really short, honestly. When people lie, I can hear a change of pitch in their voice. Just like how most people can distinguish sarcasm. I get to hear it, even in the subli sub list of lies. I can't say that word. But catching the lie doesn't tell me the truth behind it. Some lies can sell too many possibilities. And I can only hear it if someone says something they, they don't actually believe. If they truly believe something that's objectively false, it'll sound true to me. Interesting. Fascinating, actually. And you've always had this ability. For as long as I can remember, yes. Why reveal that to me now? 
Why did you save me? That's the million dollar question, guys. Well, if you died, I'll be back to square one, wouldn't I? I need our partnership for my little vendetta, as much as you do for yours. Indeed, you do a terrible job interrogating criminals without my help. Oi, you wouldn't even know who to question in the first place without me. I know we have a rule, but I wonder why do you value not killing without orders so much? Considering the reputation you have. When you lead a life such as mine, you need to abide by strong rules and never let them let go of them. Otherwise, you lose sight of who you are. And by the time you realize it, it's be too late. And those purple hyacinths you leave, no, leave behind, what do they mean? Obviously, they're a threat. But that's not all. The hyacinth represent the royal crest. Isn't the message clear enough? It's always been an explicit threat to the royals. One of the many that Phantom Scythe constantly sends out. What a stupid question to ask, officer. I thought the police already knew that much. Let's get started on this file on Ned Colden. We got a lot of stuff to cover regarding what Blakesley revealed tonight. He's not lying. But is this really the whole truth? You you were that boy! <laughs> no. No. Oh my goodness. So I don't really do well when it comes to stuff like that, where it shows a lot of people being on the live. So it just caught me off guard, honestly. But I feel like I had to censor this, because especially if I want it to be on, like, YouTube. But yeah, oh my gosh, guys. How did you guys feel when you guys read this part? Because, man, that surprised me so much. Anyways... I am enjoying this. It's a refresher for me as I'm reading. So it's a good two episode. It's not as long as the other episodes that I have read for Purple Hyacinth. But yeah. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed my reaction and my webtoon reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all felt when y'all first read this. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!